Okay, let's go again. Put our timer. Okay, let's play this D6 again. That's my GM opponent. It's a bit of a novel system. I'll allow Queen B3, I think. So I just want to play um, Rook B8 here. Okay. Now. I think I'll take and then play for g6, bishop g7. Okay, it doesn't matter that white's not getting double pawns. Um, play c5, try and weaken these dark squares. So I think this is the way Adams has been playing it. Um, Alright, can I play knight? Alright, b5. I wonder if b5 is any good here. No idea actually what's going on now. But actually if um, queen a5 and queen takes b5 does that give me some play? So if knight c3, bishop c3 because at least the queen's not um, on c3. So bishop d2, queen takes b5 then I might have knight e5 to knight d3. So this is not looking too bad, considering the GM opponents and playing a novel opening, it looks like a reasonable position so far. So far, so good. Under knight e5, is that better than queen b5? Um, probably not. Might play queen e2, a bit dull. I'm actually on b2, I've got a lot of pressure here actually. Um... So if he does queen e2, can I just take and bishop takes b2 and then rook b2? Yeah, um, I think I'll just play bishop takes b2. So, um, thankfully the, the rook's protected by the knight, so... Uh, doesn't look too bad, still. Um, although do I want to take rooks and there's rook b7? That's a bit of a shame. Is it better rook b6 first? Mm, not sure. Oh, he's going to get a big pass pawn on the queen side. But then I'll have, if I can just castle and play rook b8, try and get behind the pawn, get my rook to a2. So I'm going to play rook b8. Right. Okay. Ninety five. We want to play rook b two next and maybe c four and it looks a bit dangerous for white there, even though he's gonna gobble this e seven pawn. I've got a game. Okay, what about knight g four? Knight g four. Uh, knight g four's got only move. So I'm attacking h2 pawn at least. Um, oh, d5 was on. How long has d5 been on here? Um, Alright. Uh, rook b2. I think, okay, I'll take this pawn while I still can. But then a5, I, I don't know. Rook b2, a6. I don't, I don't want the pawn coming up. So maybe rook b2 first is better. Unfortunately, he seems to have gone a pawn up in all this with h3, knight f16, play e4, but then c4 maybe, so I don't know. What started from a nice opening, now he's got, he's got lots of play. I thought I had a great opening, maybe I shouldn't have taken on b2. It just seems to backfire with that, that rook coming in and winning a, the a7 pawn. But, um, okay, e4, c4 maybe, or e4, knight takes h2. I mean, at least this pawn, you know, I've I got rook a2 now for a5. I'm trying to slow it down. Hmm, okay, maybe rook a2 now, in fact. 
Well, what about night takes? Night takes. Trying to get my material equality. Oh god, the central pawns uh, look bloody good. What about knight f3 though? Knight f3. This isn't looking that great, um, unfortunately. Um, unless I've got king, king of eight first, so d7, rook, rook takes, king takes c7. Um, in fact, rook d4 and rook takes a4. Try and get these pawns later. Might be an idea. Rook d4 here. And rook takes a4. Surely I can't be worse there. Rook takes a4, getting rid of the dangerous pass to a pawn. Um, hang on. Then there's king f6. There's nothing I can do about that, I think. What about Rook? Rook here. I'm trying to pin that pawn to the king. Hmm. So I seem to be in a really dodgy position. And this uh, over here to check. Then, then play c4. Let's not put a pre move in actually. A bit too dangerous. <laughs> okay, so rook takes crook e3. Oh, is my king worse here? Probably. Okay, can I. I don't know. Am I carrying on here with the skin of the teeth, or am I getting murdered? Don't like losing all these pawns on them. Rook c7, maybe rook. Rook g1 to try and minimise the number of pawns. Oh. Oh dear. c3. King e6. I'm getting mated on I d6 and d7. Oops, okay, I'll let him play it. Not good. Oh, that was a better game than before, but not good. Not much GM luck today at the moment. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think I was um, over greedy here, if we have a look at it. Um, Although this position, I don't know, it seemed really good here for a moment. So, I don't know, if I don't take the queens, maybe queen a5? Just queen a5. Just just keep the pressure longer term on b2 to, to try and win b2 at a more appropriate moment. This was just dodgy, because it's um, very dodgy. The rook exchanges here. So if I'm losing a7, it's a bit dire. And um, yeah, this central breakthrough was good. Just creating a pass pawn here. Hmm. Interesting. Yep. All right. Please leave any comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.